hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is 2d electrophoresis or two dimensional electrophoresis as the name suggests this electrophoresis technique has two dimensional separation in this video i am going to discuss two aspects of 2d electrophoresis namely first principle of 2d electrophoresis and second procedure involved in 2d electrophoresis so let us go into the details of two dimensional electrophoresis technique if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads any charged molecule in solution will migrate in an applied electric field a phenomenon known as electrophoresis the rate of migration depends on the strength of the electric field and the charge density of the molecule that is the ratio of charge to the mass the first dimension separation in 2d electrophoresis is usually isoelectric focusing which is also called as ief in which the proteins are separated on the basis of their net charge irrespective of their mass the underlying principle is that electrophoresis is carried out in a ph gradient allowing each protein to migrate to its isoelectric point that is the point at which its pi value is equivalent to the surrounding ph and its net charge is zero in case of isoelectric focusing the net charge density of each protein decreases as it moves along the ph gradient towards its isoelectric point when the isoelectric point is reached the protein's net charge density is zero and it comes to an halt proteins with different pi values as determined by the number and type of acidic and basic amino acid residues they contain therefore focus at different positions in the ph gradient now let us understand the second dimension the second dimension separation in 2d electrophoresis is generally carried out by standard sds page which is also called as sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and separates the protein according to molecular mass irrespective of charge the basis of the technique is the exposure of denatured proteins to the detergent sodium dodecyl sulfate which is also called as sds which binds stoichiometrically to the polypeptide backbone and imparts a large negative charge the presence of 10 or hundreds of sds molecules on each polypeptide dwarfs any intrinsic charge carried by the protein themselves this has two important consequences that ensure separation on the basis of mass alone first all protein sds complexes have essentially the same charge density and second the relative differences in mass between proteins are maintained in the protein sds complexes the gel enhances the size dependent separation by sieving the proteins as they migrate the sieving effect depends on the pore size of the gel which in turn dependent on the gel concentration If you are watching my video for the first time please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notification of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone thank you